RHA, which I will talk about a little bit more later today, um, is you, all you need to remember, it is, it is long chain. It is not like any other fillers on the market. It is the only one on the market that has long chain and consists of only long chain. Long chain means there is more elasticity and it's more closely mimicking our intrinsic biological hyaluronic acid, which means you can inject this little net under the skin and the net will contour and sculpt the face for you, but retain the architecture without the you know, filling effect. So when do you use RHA to sculpt and contour the face with the 3D Ultimate Lift? Answer to be relaxed, not, not smiling. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, as you can see, Tika hasn't lost a lot of volume. She's kept very well all her structures, and but everybody under, undergoes the aging process. So she will have lost a little bit of volume, the skin will have lengthened a little bit. She is a perfect example for RHA 3 or 4 for sculpting the face um, because what you're doing is you're not increasing the volume, you're just giving her the tightness she's looking for. And a, so I'm going to demonstrate to you how I do it, especially for those clinicians who get patients who are in the public eye. For example, news readers, celebrities, they don't want to walk out of your clinic and they have bigger cheeks. And so RHA 3 or 4 will be beautiful for people like them. However, you need to understand the molecular structure of RHA and you need to know how to use it and where to inject. Okay, so it's not just a case of sticking the needle in. If you use RHA like you use Ultra Deep and Ultimate, you're not going to be able to see the maximum result of RHA. So if you stick RHA down to the bone, although it's possible, you can push RHA number four down to the bone, you're likely not going to see the maximum result of what RHA is all about. So I tend to use RHA on the surface, right under the skin. But even on the surface, you have about a three millimeter thick of superficial fat compartment. So it's about playing with a different depth of the tissue. And um, so, okay, right, that's what we're going to do. Let's lie her down. Twenty-five gauge microcannula with RHA number four. Okay, so subcutaneous. I've used 0 0.5. superficially and could you explain to Tika that she's going to feel a little bit of pressure here 
if you explain to Tika, she's going to feel a little bit of pressure here. Feel a bit of pressure. Bit of. If you want to give the patient a little bit of cheek augmentation, a little bit of volume, you want to combine RHA with Ultra Deep or Ultimate. So what you will do is you will inject Ultra Deep or Ultimate deep into the fat compartment and an RHA on top. Okay. Okay, I hope you can see the, there is a little bit of bruising here, and I hope you can see the, the result, but in a couple of weeks time, that's when she will see the maximum amount of result with RHA. I'm going to go to the other side, so we can, we can um, show you the result in full.